You got two fully iced Richard meals right here, but they're set by the factory and we're gonna loop the setting. As someone who's been looking at diamond setting for 20 years, I do have a keen eye and I'm fairly impressed on what's going on on this RM10. Now on the face of this watch, RM did a honeycomb pave setting, which is pretty good. I'm not gonna say it's perfect because it just isn't. However, it is better than your average aftermarket setting in the diamond district. For instance, let's look at the setting on this Rolex band. You can see it's choppier and the prongs are set a little haphazard, but there's a reason for that. And that reason is you. Because the consumer doesn't know what they're doing, they think when they're buying a cheaper Rolex, they're getting a better price when they're really just getting a cheaper setting that was rushed. So the moral of the story, this factory setting is superior to the aftermarket setting that I see every day in the Diamond District, but that didn't have to be that way. If you knew what was going on and used the best setters to have the best results, you could do just as good as Richard Mille.